The people of the Philippines are all too familiar with the threat of typhoons, but this one poses unusual dangers. Not only is it generating potentially dangerous winds, it's also moving very slowly. And that means that intense rain is likely to fall on the same areas for day after day. A total of a metre or more is possible by early next week. So there's the risk of serious flooding anywhere along the typhoon's path. And bear in mind that this vast weather system stretches across 650 kilometres, about 400 miles. It reached the coast in the early hours this morning, whipping up a storm surge. And it's now forecast to pass over the main island here, Luzon, home to about half of the Philippines' population. Already the authorities have moved some of the most vulnerable families to higher ground, and they're also ready with emergency food supplies. This country is still scarred by another typhoon, Haiyan which killed more than 6,000 people nearly two years ago. Since then, the public warning system has been massively improved. So over the next few days, there's a much better chance of keeping people safe. David Truckman, BBC News, in the Philippines.